The woman accusing three 51 Division police officers of rape testified in court this week that it took eight hours in two hospitals before a sexual assault nurse could tend to her. So we started looking into what resources are available and what we found is that only two hospitals in all of Toronto have forensic nurses on staff who are properly trained to treat survivors. I think we should have across the board all the time people available to support survivors when they need it. The parking enforcement officer claiming she was raped by three colleagues at the Weston Harbour Castle testified this week that a friend convinced her to go to a hospital to get checked out 24 hours after the alleged assaults. She told the court she waited five hours at North York General before being told that they could not help her. She was then sent to Scarborough Grace where she waited another three hours before a specially trained forensic nurse was finally available. And while she says a rape kit was discussed, Bust, it was never administered. City News has learned that Scarborough Grace and Women's College are the only two hospitals in all of Toronto that have trained staff to handle the delicate task of collecting evidence. Farah Khan with the Office of Sexual Violence at Ryerson University says these types of roadblocks can be very challenging for survivors. To make the decision to go to a hospital after just being sexually assaulted and put yourself in a position where you have to be vulnerable again, where you have to take off your clothes, where you have to be examined, where you, you know, there'll be a conversation about what happened that night, reliving the experience. So we always want to make sure that we mitigate the risk of secondary victimization because that's what we call it, right? North York General told us via email it's routine to send sexual assault survivors to either Scarborough Grace or another hospital in Richmond Hill, but could not comment on claims there was a five hour waiting period. Should there be these forensic nurses at every hospital? That would be wonderful if we could do it. And I think that's the thing is if we can do it. Right now, we're going to work with the systems that we have, but how do we make them better? The rape kit is a process that can last two to six hours. It contains swabs and bags to collect evidence, which include clothing, debris, and DNA samples. The forensic nurses may also take blood and urine samples and photos of any injuries. And while not all Canadian communities do it, here in Toronto, you do have the option to freeze the kit for up to six months while you contemplate reporting the assault to police. The thing is, is that when you're in a moment of trauma, you might still be reliving that moment. You might still be present in that moment at this time. And so you may not be ready to make that decision. So just having that as an option is really important. According to the head nurse at Women's College, there is a team of forensic nurses that will travel to seven of the closest hospitals and they are currently building their ability to be more mobile. Now you can find uh, information on resources close to you on citynews.ca. Outside 51 Division, Shawna Hunt City News.